Hello everyone. We have a water pump here that has a broken motor. I couldn't fix it, so I decided to get it working again by putting a pulley on the end of its shaft where the fan used to be. Then I connected this small motor from a car's cooling system. It was also necessary to put a fan here because this little motor was overheating. So with this device assembled I managed to get this water pump working again. Of course, without the same original power. But it worked and today I'm going to replace this motor. This motor here will be replaced by a washing machine motor. So we're going to attach this motor here now and try to drive the pump shaft using the washing machine motor. Since this motor's rotation is over 3000 RPM and the washing machine's rotation is only 1600 RPM, I put a larger pulley on this side. Look at the comparison. This pulley is almost twice the size of this one. The diameter of this one is almost twice the diameter of this one to compensate for the lower rotation of this motor. Now we are going to fix this motor to this board and we are going to attach this belt to the two pulleys and we are going to see if this will work. We made an improvised connection here from our water pump and I placed a check valve at the end of the tube. And here is the entire assembly. The water will come out through this end where I attached a piece of hose. Let's make the connection to do a test. There needs to be water inside the pumping chamber, so I'm going to suck a little here. And here we go, a new try. So, as you saw there, a very good flow and pressure. I left it connected there previously to do a test. And it was connected for almost 5 minutes and the motor didn't get very hot. It heated up normally. So that's it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you soon.